Hey. Hey. How's it going? It's going. Ooh, a lot of big stuff happening, guys. Check me out. Got purple hair. Yeah, I am tolerant. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> he tolerant. loves it, and I look fabulous. It's not all purple. It's just partly purple. She thinks I love it. I'm tolerant of it. He loves me, so he loves it. I do love her, but not her purple hair. She's been wanting to do it for months, just honestly. It's a long line of colors this hair is going <laughs> to be. I loved dyeing it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we'll see how long our marriage lasts now, huh, guys? Mm -hmm. No, just kidding. You said for till death. So. Yeah, but then you started dyeing your hair. <sighs> so I had an appointment today, guys, with um, the oral surgery people. Mm -hmm. And to see if they were going to need to think about doing another surgery. They wanted to see how things were going. Um, so I had surgery back in July. They pulled a whole bunch of like, call them shark teeth out. They're like teeny, teeny, tiny extra teeth. Like tons and tons and stop tons. Sign. Turn um, right onto North they lost Division count. Street. I, I asked how many there were and they had lost count. Uh, they tried to, they tried to count the amount that were there. Um, so anyway, I had my, mile. Turn left onto Northwest had my appointment. Avenue. And they took another x-ray, they looked at things, and uh, as it stands right now, they don't think I'm going to need surgery. They don't think that they need to chase the rest of the teeth that are in there. Um, they don't think that they're going to cause me any problems. And I go back in a year to make sure things are still good. Um, so that's great. Tomorrow we have our info webinar for adoption. We're current, we currently have a GoFundMe going for that uh, because the cost is substantial, but, um, you know, we, it's our At dream light, to... Turn left onto Northwest Birdsdale Avenue. It's our dream to be parents, and we've been trying, and we've done fertility treatment, and nothing has worked, uh, but we are... We're in the next group for an info session for adoption, so uh, we're hopeful with that. Um, go ahead and link that down below, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a, some of you guys may not know us about our fertility journey. We haven't talked a whole lot about it. It's a very painful subject, guys. We've, uh, we've been, well, ever since our honeymoon, just want to have a kid, and it, it just never happens. And so we kept on trying I mean, we did all the tests and everything seemed fine and we tried treatment a few times and we put ourselves on an adoption list just in case and then a few months ago we were spot 180 or 284 or something like that 217 217 and then i like uh i put us on the list um in uh, half a mile turn right october, onto west powell boulevard october of 2019 and they said it could be up to a year for uh for us to be called for an info session um well COVID hit and it made it slightly longer but I had emailed a couple months ago to find out where we were on the list if we were still 217 if people had dropped off the list you know just just an update to see where we were and at that time we were 143 on the list that was like November of 2020 um so I emailed December of 2020 and said, hey, you know, I, I emailed last month. Um, I just kind of wanted to see if there was an update, um, if we've moved on the list at all. And we went from 143 to in the next uh, group for the info session. So At the light, turn that's right exciting. I go out by a mic. So yeah. Okay. And also, my brother's well can, so we're going to need this. Obviously, social distance, so it's over uh, Zonar. Not Zonar. Zoom. Zoom. Zonar is what I used to do when I was driving the bus. Which I'm no longer doing. Today was my last day at that job. He starts his new job on and, Wednesday. And uh, Wednesday is the uh, onboard meeting for me to start my new job. So, a little nervous, but excited at the same time. He's going to do great, guys. Yeah, it's just, I mean, I haven't worked a full-time job since... At the light, turn left. January 2019. Or was it 2018? Uh, it might have been 2019. Yeah, I think it was 2019. Because, yeah, we did the 
July got hired. No, it would. Well, yeah, I think it was January 2019. So, a little nerve wracking. It's exciting. It's a really good paying job. And it gets me free benefits. And, and uh, it's a little expensive for Kelly Gun benefits, but it's really not that bad, all things considered. So, hopefully, it's decent insurance. It's a decent job. 40 hours a week with overtime available, working 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Yeah. And I am staying on as, as with first student as a, a sub, you know, like if they need like a weekend charter or something when things open back up. But um, yeah, it was my last day, so I said goodbye to my partner, went to safety meeting, blew my bosses away. They're like, what are you doing here? I wasn't even expecting you to show up. <laughs> well, they, they don't know me. I'm too loyal, I think, for my own good. Yeah. Heck, I'm still married to her. <laughs> hey, now. But, um... You know what? I no, have, I love her. I have amazing qualities, guys. Except for the purple hair. That's not a quality. <laughs> that's an attribute or a feature. Uh, what building is A waste of time? money. My niece also dyed her hair. Her hair is blue. Okay. Oh, or don't. Okay. Just letting you cross. Um... So, when tomorrow we're fighting unemployment because we filed a claim because we weren't getting any luck with Grubhub, and then we reached out to someone who gave us the back pay for Kelly, yeah. which we then used to pay off all the debt we'd racked up while we were going through fertility treatment, and then they said you're gonna have to go do you know a, you might be called adjudicator, so we're like okay the fine. Adjudicator called me, and I explained my story to them, and I was completely honest with them. And, uh, they still, they're like, nope, you're denied. So I set in, sent in an appeal and the hearing is tomorrow. Um, essentially guys, um, Grubhub doesn't pay into unemployment. My, okay, jeez, buddy. Well, they got you. Yeah. Have they backed halfway up? Please, I double check. Um, uh, but, people uh, are driving. Grubhub doesn't pay into unemployment. You don't pay taxes. Um, taxes are not taken out. You have to on, pay your own taxes. Yeah, yeah, you have to pay your own taxes. Self-employed. Um, my regular job does pay into unemployment because taxes are taken. Yeah. So, um, my regular job, I was furloughed in March, end of March, mm -hmm. and I went back to my regular job end of September, and I worked Grubhub, and it was great for a while, and so I was like, okay, not gonna need the unemployment. Grubhub started to not pan out, pay very well, you know, yeah. could log on for hours upon hours and you'd be lucky if you got 50 bucks. Yeah. And, and then order you're to gas, even. fuel and time. Yeah. So I, I started claiming unemployment because I wasn't able to make ends meet. Mm -hmm. And I claimed unemployment for only as long as it took for me to find DoorDash and sign on with DoorDash. I signed on with DoorDash and I stopped claiming unemployment. I was completely honest. I didn't want to have to use unemployment. I only used it when I had to. And now I'm kind of getting bit in the butt for it. So. Yeah, it's pretty tragic that she tried to make it without any assistance. And, um, but hopefully Grubhub doesn't show up because they have no reason to. And plus, we follow their policies, and there's a whole bunch of stuff, but I guess this will be out before that, so I guess we'll give you guys, not up, out after that, so I guess we'll give you guys an update and let you know what's going on, but it's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Adoption, this thing, that thing, so positive thoughts. Prayers. Donations are welcome. Yep. Don't, not expected, but welcome. Um, if you can't donate, spread the word. That's all we're asking, you know. Anyways, I'm going to go deliver this order. For those of you who watch our YouTube and have donated, it's greatly appreciated. I mean, it's I think we've reached $170 so far, which is far away from our goal of 35000 but the fact that we raised anything blows my mind. So thank you very much to those who have donated and Hi. will donate. Hi, sorry. I just told them thank you for the ones who donated and the ones who may donate. Told that we didn't expect anything. It shocks me even that we raised 170. Just... 195. 195. Uh, we had somebody donate today, and I, you're able to thank the people through GoFundMe, which is great because 
I don't know the person who donated. I asked my best friend, he doesn't know who it is. I asked my mom, she doesn't know who it is. So I don't know who it was that donated, but it was so very much appreciated. Another order. Um, so yeah, um, we are, you know, we're, we're being completely honest. You know, it's a big goal. It's a lot of money we're trying to raise. Um, but we're good people, we're honest people, we're not, you know, I know that, you know, some people probably, they look at it, that, that GoFundMe's and they're like, yeah, you know, this person just wants free money, and honestly, we're not like that. Um, I'm shocked that anyone's given, honestly. I always like to do things by myself, and it's hard for me to accept help from anyone, even though I know we need the help. So... <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, for me, if this, uh, this comes through, then, um, you know, we're, I, I would love to, you know, reach out and help somebody else in need because that's, you know, that's just who I am. I mean, we, we're, we're, we're faithful givers at the church, you know, it's, it's not much. It's what we, you know, it's it's what we can afford, um, you know, but that money goes to help other people, um, and so, you know, obviously I just, you know, would like to be able to help other people with, uh, you know, who, you know, I, I've lost completely <laughs> where I was going with this. Who need help, maybe who in a similar help. situation. Yeah, in a similar situation, I would... I would love to help somebody else out. Um, There's been a couple of GoFundMe's that just are through my Discord for the Imperion game that I like to play. And I wish I could help them, but I just did not have the money at all. And now that's changing. Our, our financial situation is changing, and that will allow us to be more helpful, which is good. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot going on, guys. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's crazy right now. But thank you. And we will talk to you later. It's almost new year, guys. Woohoo! 2020 has finally ended. Well, not technically, it's two minutes two left. Two minutes. Did you guys hit that subscribe button? Or the like button? Did you guys click on the bell to be notified of when we release new content? Every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Did you know we release new content every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday? Tuesdays a vlog. Thursday, Saturday are currently video game videos on Umber Shadow Gaming. Yeah. Yep. We start 2021 strong. But at midnight, we gotta, I gotta say, I gotta say it at midnight. You'll hear it. You'll hear it. We're just waiting. Nate doesn't even know. Well, I'm gonna say at midnight. But it's gonna, ah, uh, it's gonna be hilarious. You don't aim that at somebody's face. No. One minute and one second left. I got a party popper thingy. I got a glass of sparkling cider. Woohoo. So, how was your guys' this year? Are you glad 2021 is finally here? God, I hope it's rather than 2020, because 2020 sucked. I hope it's rather than 2020 also. Mm. On the upside, we have a GoFundMe for our adoption process, and we're at 120, so that's nice. Yeah, we're trying to raise money to adopt a kid. It's super expensive. And so yeah, I'll see if I can't include a link in the description, but... I don't expect you guys to give anything. Don't feel obligated. But if you feel like it, definitely it's going to a good cause. It feels worth even talking about. But if you it, can't, spread the word. Yeah, that works too. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy Happy New Year! Happy New Year!
I said Jumanji because maybe we can get out of it. <laughs> Happy New Year, guys. I just Happy got shot New in the Year. leg with a popper. Hallelujah. Do you hear that? Adventure's Adventure calling. calling. <laughs> hey, come here. First kiss of the New Year. Best kiss of the New Year.